give me some of the people's drug Whatever makes you feel that good I'll take it like I know I should so Give me some of the people people's drug Whoa. Give me some of the people's Wesley Stace, a.k.a. John Wesley Harding is a Cambridge-educated author of four novels the host and creator of The Cabinet of Wonders, a variety show now playing on WXPN and other NPR stations, and a musician with more than 15 albums to his credit, including the 2011 release, The Sound of His Own Voice. We caught up with him in an unlikely venue, a townhouse in Pennington, New Jersey, where he played a solo benefit concert that was streamed live. Part of a benefit house concert series I'm putting on called uh, Candlelight Concerts for Epilepsy Awareness. My wife passed away, um, my wife Carolina passed away as a result of what's called SUDEP, Sudden Unexpected Death in Epilepsy. Most people don't realize epilepsy could be fatal. I must atone from my sins. God grant me some of what you are given. Epilepsy is something that I happen to have had a personal experience of because a friend of mine died in the bath after he left university and a guy was kind of quite influential on some of my early writing choices, he was about a year older than me. And uh, so, you know, when the email came through about this gig and I, I just thought, oh, that just seems like a great thing to do. You know, I love the idea that there's somebody in Australia who could should it be the right time of day, I don't know, who could just go online and pay five Australian dollars and hear 50 minutes of me playing live. I mean, if I was a fan of me, I'd do it. I don't, I'm very comfortable playing in any kind of intimate little situation. I, li I like that. I'm not actually playing the Mighty Quinn by Bob Dylan. It sounds, it sounds, it sounds very much like I am. It's actually me trying to do a, an impression of the mandolin from a riff on the song, but I can't do it. on the pitch at Highbury There's a shed called Deer Creek of which my one critique is there's no creek now and it's all deer free There's a Walgreens where there were no walls just greenery And a theme park in a palace in Tennessee That tree there is a pylon but some things you can't rely on There's a Starbucks where the Starbucks used to be There's a Starbucks where the Starbucks used to be The Cabinet of Wonders, recorded live at the City Winery in New York as well as on the road, began as a way to bring all of Wesley Stace's myriad interests together. Well, the original idea was that there would be a, a variety of things that I like. So a few musicians, a couple of writers and a comedian. The door is locked. Your money is spent. May I present the cabinet, its contents and its discontents. All these things cohere kind of because they're just my taste. I like the idea that somebody would come and not know Josh a couple Ritter, of things on the, on the menu or more than Punch a couple brothers. of things, but think, Billy oh Tanner, wow, I see the link between this and that, even though they're different genres or they're different art forms or whatever. I'm constantly moving in a world of writers and of musicians and it's a pleasure to put those things together. There's a Starbucks where the Starbucks used to be. 